From the 1890s to the 1920s, theaters for movies and live performances sprung up all over the loop. Randolph Street became the main hub for theaters such as the Schiller, which later became the Garrick, the Randolph, the Woods, and the Apollo, which became United Artists. These days, only two are still standing, the Niederlander, which we'll get to soon, and this, the Cadillac Palace. I love the signage here. I love the way that the red neon slowly curves downward to point to the side of the marquee, how Chicago and theater blink in red and white neon, and how the gold cross-hatching against the burgundy background is mirrored on the marquee. And also, if you look closely at the marquee, you'll notice some really nice ironwork, and I also dig that font in theater. The building was opened in 1926 and designed by Rap and Rap, who also did the Chicago Theater. It was intended as a vaudeville house as part of the Orpheum circuit. Orpheum already had a theater called the Palace around the corner on Clark Street, where City Hall is now, which you can see off to the left, so they called this the New Palace. But within a few years, vaudeville began to die out due to the emergence of talkies, and Orpheum went through a series of mergers to form RKO, and in 1931, the theater was renamed the RKO Palace. That lasted into the 50s when it became Idol's Palace, then the Bismarck Palace because the Bismarck Hotel was next door. Then the hotel purchased the theater and converted it into a banquet hall, and then starting in 1984, a concert venue. It was renovated in the mid-90s and reborn in 1999 as the Cadillac Palace to show touring Broadway musicals.